Hello, good morning, welcome back to the channel. You join me here at Three Lakes today. Another day of piking. As you can see, it's still dark. It's freezing cold. I think it was minus one, one, uh, minus one and a half when I set off this morning. Uh, same setup as usual. Two dead bait rods. One on the float, one on a ledger. I think the ledger one's got popped up mackerel tail. And the one on the float's got a, a little rainbow trout on. So, fingers crossed. Hopefully today we'll catch his first pike of the year. But, the plan is today just, I'm starting in the very far corner of this peg, uh, this lake. I'm just going to work my way all the way around. Have a dabble in each peg, what isn't occupied by someone that's been fishing the night, because there's a guy next door that's way of a night, he's bivvied up and still in bed pack look of it, so. Yeah, fingers crossed. I'm feeling a bit, a bit hopeful today, don't don't feel overly cold, so we'll see. I'll keep you informed. We've got these two new uh, liquids to try from One Tone Tackle. There's one called Secret Sauce, which absolutely reeks. And the other is Octo Shrimp. We've got the Octo Shrimp injected into the trout. And the Secret Sauce injected into the mackerel tail. See if this helps today. They absolutely stink, so I don't see why they won't, but we'll see. Time will tell. I think we're going to move peg shortly anyway. I've been in here maybe an hour. Don't seem to, any, seem to be any sign of life other than duck foot you can hear behind. We're in no swim now. This one's actually called Pike Corner. So let's hope it lives up to its name, eh? Fingers crossed, but. We'll see. It's quite hard to uh, get a cast because of all trees. It's literally an underarm flick just into the margins, but that's where we want them anyway, so I'll keep you updated. Not really fished much here for pike, if I'm completely honest. I did like a day last year, and I had one four or five pound pike maybe. Um, mainly fish for car. Here, to be honest, because it's quite a good car water. Um, I think before that, I came with Chris when we were teenagers 13, 14. I'll put some pictures up. We we're on the other side of the lake. <coughs> um, and I had four that day. I think we had every type of weather possible sunshine, hailstone, rain, thunder and lightning. But my PB pipe came from here 13 pound two. And that stood for 17 years, maybe, if not longer. I can't quite remember how old it was, but I'll put some pictures up and you'll see. So they're very, very old and we're very, very young, but all good memories anyway. So fingers crossed we can catch them today or even beat that PB.
as you can see, <coughs> another new swim. This one's called the Treehouse. On the absolute opposite of where I started. That peg over there. Here. That's where I started this morning. And I'm completely opposite side. I think there's two guys over there now, actually, in that peg pike fishing. Well, it looks like they've just turned up, unless it's the guys in the bivvy next door. <sighs> Can't seem to buy a bite at a minute. I don't know what's happening. Maybe I'm just no good at pike fishing, who knows? Right, we're in his last peg now. I've only got about an hour left and I've got to go because I've got stuff to do this afternoon. Another session that's been hard work. I just don't think I'm any good at pike fishing, but just catch loads as kids. A bit all on live baits on canal, but I don't know what's happening. Just can't seem to catch a pike at all. Oh well, keep trying. You never know. Last hour might happen. Well, that's the end of that session. Another blank. Don't know what I'm doing wrong, but <sighs> it'll happen one day, I'm sure it will. Um, <laughs> if you like any of the content on this channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. It really helps the channel get out for other people to view. Um, until next time, I'll see you later.